guys welcome back to my channel and today we have a new video and you can't see me going out and about today so i decided i will just stay indoor today and share some british words or slang or phrase that we often use here in the uk so if you come across with these words that i would share today so at least you know what what it means and if you met british person you might heard this kind of words from them okay so let's begin shall we number one word that classic it's t t e a t means if you are an ordinary you know for a foreign people or a filipino if it's t t for you is what it's literally it's a t so you will just go to the kitchen and you know make a cup of tea but here guys tea means supper or it might be snack time so if a british person would say what's for tea for tonight so you have to look at the time if the time is around five o'clock or six o'clock it means supper time and if they ask about what's for tea or you have any tea to nibble that means or you have to check if it's three o'clock between two th two to four that means a snack time so we don't say snack what's for snack today or this afternoon we just say what's for tea this afternoon or what's for tea this evening and number two cheeky cheeky means naughty so if you heard this kind of word cheeky it means naughty guys so this is the word that i always i always said to my um, child that oh you're so naughty or i would say you cheeky little madam so my my my, my child will say or she she would giggle <laughs> something like that because i just called her cheeky or naughty right number three chaffed chaffed means happy um or they are pleased you might say i'm so chaffed with the exam result today so meaning she's happy or he is happy he is pleased with the result of of his exam today so number four gutted so when they say gutted it means guys disappointed so they would say i'm so gutted that my football team didn't win the tournament just now so gutted or very sad or you know and number five fog when we say fog it means cigarette so some of my colleague would say at work i'll go outside for a fag so last time i really don't know what does it mean what is a fag then suddenly you know i just pick up from them oh fag is having a cigarette so they would say i'll just go outside for a fag uh just in a minute and i'll be back so fag is cigarette but in america fag is quite not really a good word might be gay so it's i think it's a gay gay word so correct me if i'm wrong but i th yeah i think it's gay guys so if there's any americans there you can just comment down below if it's if i'm correct okay so moving on number six knackered right when we say knackered uh it means really extremely exhausted guys so the the person is really extremely exhausted or very tired we would say i love to go to the party but i'm knackered i'm so sorry i can't go i'm really knackered so it means we are very tired i can't go to the party or i can't go to the party because i am tired so just like that right so number seven under the weather so this kind of british slang i really don't understand before because sometimes uh my colleague would say i can't go to i can't really go to work because i'm a bit under the weather 
So I keep asking myself, what do you mean by under the weather? So guys, you would know today that under the weather is feeling sick or not feeling well. So this is the kind of British slang or phrase that I would tell the teacher from my, you know, my daughter's school that, oh, my child can't report for school today because she's a, bit, she's a wee bit under the weather today. Then the teacher would say, okay, no problem. Just uh, let us know if she's okay tomorrow or the next day. So that's it. So number, what number are we now? So number eight, daft. It means silly. So how do I use this one in a sentence? We would say, don't be daft. There's plenty of food that we can eat. So it's silly, guys. Right. Next is number nine, peckish. So when we say peckish, oh, I'm a bit peckish. Can I have something to nibble, please? So peckish means a little bit of hungry. Not really that hungry, but you know, it's a bit, a wee bit of hungry, if I'm correct. It's a wee bit of hungry, peckish. So we are peckish. I'm peckish. Can I just get something to nibble, please? So that's what I would say. Then number 10, bloody. Bloody is, uh, it, it's a word that, you know, a person showing anger. So if a Brit would say, bloody hell, I can't believe that, that he just punched me like that. So meaning, he's angry. So be careful with the word bloody, or if there's a hell, bloody hell, meaning he is really extremely angry, guys. So be careful with that word, okay? So number 11, we. We means small. So we might say, can you just... Put a wee bit of sugar in my coffee, please. So, we is small or tiny. Right? Number 12. This kind of, of slang I can't understand before because my colleagues at work would say, Maria, are you taking the mickey? Taking the mickey or taking the mick? Then I would say, what does it mean, taking the mickey? So guys, you know, eventually I learned from them because I've got lots of colleagues um, doing like that. Taking the mickey or taking, meaning taking the mickey or taking the mick is taking the piss out of someone's, of someone. So meaning you are taking liberties at the expense of others, guys. So meaning you are, you are joking or you make joke to your colleague or your friend so taking a mickey so it's a joke so they would say are you taking a mickey on me or are you you're taking a mickey aren't you so we'll just laugh in our office so that's it so number 13 guys this one is also we use it every day here it's chalk a block means fool okay chalk a block is fool so we might say in a sentence, the streets were chock-a-block with cars. Of course, we, will, we won't go there. Sometimes my husband would say, we can't go on that street because it's a chock-a-block. So meaning, we, go, we find somewhere else or we find someone somewhere else to park our car because that street is chock-a-block. Or we might say, that restaurant is chock-a-block, meaning... Loads of people or full of people in there. So number 14, dodgy. Dodgy means suspicious. So we might say, I'm so sorry, but I can't take or I can't buy the phone because it looks dodgy to me. So if someone looks up suspicious or something suspicious, we use the word dodgy, guys, so Brits will say dodgy, means suspicious, right? So number 15, fancy. Fancy means it might be like or want, because sometimes I heard them, do you fancy a drink? Would, what would you like to fancy? Or they might say, do you fancy a takeaway tonight? Something like that. 
Or they would say, Maria, do you fancy a McDonald's for lunch later? See, they would, it might be like or want. So, fancy, do you fancy? Or he would say, do you fancy me? If someone, say, someone says to you, if it's a British, would say, what, do you fancy me? Or do you fancy her? Meaning, do you like her? Or you like him? Or like that. So, vice versa, guys. Number 16. Toilet or loo. Here, I, we don't say, in the Philippines, we would say comfort room. Or restroom in, uh, in America. We don't say here, guys. We will say toilet. But if you're, if you're a posh, they will say loo. Can I go to the loo? Or where's your toilet? Or where's your loo? I can't find any toilet in here. Can you please uh, point me to the right direction? Going to the toilet, please. So they would say like that. So toilet, loo is comfort room in the Philippines or restroom in America. Okay, so mate. Mate means friend. You would say, oh, George is my best mate. Or you would say, hi, mate. How are you today? So it's a friend friend or we would say in the philippines kaibigan yeah kaibigan or amigo something like that so number 18 every day i heard this one in at my work they would say kappa kappa means would you like a cup of tea or a coffee so if someone would say a brit would say would you like a kappa so it means a tea you would just say tea or coffee or i would just say yes please Coffee for me, please. So, something like that, guys. So, I think that's all the, the British words, phrase, and slang that we often use here in the United Kingdom. And actually, I'm in Scotland, but some parts of, of the UK has more slang words, guys. More British slang words, not just uh, in Scotland, but we have. We have lots of, and also we vary accents, so regional accents. So, we have... There's no, there's no really British accent because in every place you will go here, there's, the accent will change. So sometimes we say, the, 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 the only thing that they would say, oh, she has a British accent because you, you only hear the BBC news or the Queen's, uh, Queen's English or Queen's accent. So that's why they would say British accent, but guys, if you if you explore around UK, you would uh, amaze how many accents they have. The entire nations, you got Scottish accents, English accents, and Irish accents. But in every regions they have it, guys. So there might be Liverpool, Manchester, Cockney accent, something like that. But yeah, for today, only those British phrase and words that I would share to you guys maybe on the next video i might share more or i might go for you know going out to do some cinematic uh, views or cinematic footage in my place here because there's lots of cinematic views in here in scotland so i am very fortunate uh lucky not fortunate uh, lucky that I live in Scotland because we have we have lots of you know walking trail cycling trail and forest trail to to explore not just like the city but yeah we do have so I hope you like the video and please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see you soon on my next video guys bye cheerios